Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 71. To kickstart the episode, I'm going to do a bit of agility alking. I need to start thinking about raising money for the cost of 99 construction. I've got 51 mil, which I'm not 100% sure will cover both the cost of converting the logs into planks and the butler costs as well. So I've got about 20 mil in alks here. I'm going to be doing the Sears agility course for one level, and then I've actually got enough summer pies to allow me to boost and do the RD course from 87 to 90 onwards, which is pretty good. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All right, well, this will be 87 agility. I've done 12 mil out of the 20 mil alks. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing the RD course from here on out with the summer pie boost. So looking forward to trying that out. So I'm gonna make a start on this greater demon task, of course, going back to Zami God Wars. I'm over 1000 KC at Krill and I'm searching for the Zami Hilt. It's the last item that I need. I can actually pull up the collection log here. Where are we? Yeah, I've actually, I've had more than this amount of spears and steam battle staffs because I've been there before the collection log even existed, but that's the item we're after. I'm actually gonna make some of the divine potions with my crystal shards. I think that would be quite handy might even result in maybe one extra kill per trip on average we'll see um, but I figured it's a good place to try them out so fingers crossed this will be the task that we finally finish Sammy God Wars. Well we got ourselves a drop a God Sword Shard 2 off of the minion so that'll go towards my third blade. Well that's unfortunate another shard drop from the boss and it's the one that we just got so that will be for the fourth blade I guess. I still need the Blade one, or shard one, and shard three, twice over now to make the third and fourth blades. Hey, we got another god sword shard. This time it's uh, actually one I need, number one. So once I've got another shard three, I can make my third blade. Another drop, a steam battle staff. I think that's number 13. And that is gonna be the last kill of the task, finishing up on 1,115 KC. I've got five greater demons left but I'll just go and finish those up. I can't really be bothered to do another trip. No hill, unfortunately, just the steam battle staff and a few shards. So today's update introduced a new lectern for the player owned house, the marble lectern, which you can build at 77 construction. Essentially, it is both the eagle and demon lectern rolled into one. So it's gonna save me a room in my house because I've currently got two rooms to facilitate having both of the previous lecterns. So I'm gonna go ahead and build that and I've realized now that I am 90 construction, I can also boost for the combined spirit tree and fairy ring in the superior garden. So again, that will also save me a spot in my house, which is pretty cool. So I need to go and get a plus five boost for that, but hopefully that won't take too long. So the plus five boost didn't take too long to get in the end. Thankfully, I've now got the combined spirit tree and fairy ring in my house, as well as the marble lectern which allows me to make all of the tabs in one convenient interface. I condensed my house down from a four by four to a four by three. Uh, ideally, I would like to get it down to a three by three, but I'm not really sure where I can cut the rooms to make that possible. I can get rid of the kitchen and I can get rid of potentially the pet room and just have the pets in my bank, but I'd still need to get rid of another room and I'm not sure which one would be the best to get rid of. I would need to keep both bedrooms and the dining room with the bell pool if I want to use my butler for banking at all, which I do do for some certain activities. And it's nice to have the workshop as well for the armor repair stand. It's slightly cheaper to repair Barrow's armor there. Obviously I need the, uh, the costume room for the bank space. So I might end up just going back to a four by four once I've got 99 construction and just making the house um, a bit more uh, flamboyant I guess because uh, I feel like with the super efficient houses you don't really make the most of having 99 construction and some of the more luxurious items that you can have in your house which I think do look cool but that's a problem for another time um, just nice to have condensed it down slightly now been a while since I've seen a whip always very nice to see not much else to say about that really ah oh, shit here we go again well, that did not take long at all. Another greater demon task, 224 this time. So that's just over a hundred more Krill kills. Will this be the task that we finally get the Zami Hilt? Probably not, but we're gonna do it anyway. 
There we go, that is the first drop of the task. Another Zami Spear, as is custom. How many will we get this task? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's worth nearly 14 mil, so it's good for the bank value at least. And that is the second spear of the task. And our third drop of the task, another Steam Battle Staff. This is definitely number 13. And there we go, another spear. They are flying in thick and fast this task. I'm definitely not salty at all, not one bit. And we've got another God Sword Shard 2. Definitely don't need that one, but yeah, it's a rare drop, I guess. Ooh, we got ourselves a Master Clue. Hopefully we can complete it. All right, we managed to complete the Master Clue. What can we get? Not too much, and that is my 30th Master completed now. So I finished up the Zami task and unfortunately no further drops, but I am picking up a Kraken Tentacle on my next task, and that means I just need one more to upgrade the Trident, which is pretty cool. My recording messed up unfortunately, but I did just pick up my third Drake's Claw. At first I wasn't sure if it was the item that I needed because it's been a long time since I've uh, killed any Drakes, but I do need the Tooth to make the Devout Boots, and this is my third Drake's Claw, as I said. Picked up an elite clue from a steel dragon, of all things. What can we get? Nothing. So I didn't actually realize it when I opened the clue, but I just got the Sarah page four, which is the last one that I need to complete the Sarah Domin book and the last god page that I need full stop to have finished all of the sets, which is pretty cool. It's taken me over 300 hard clues, nearly 300 mediums and over 700 easies to get that. Um, yeah, bit of an odd one. Kraken treated me to another jar of dirt. It might be my third or fourth one, I'm not too sure. I've definitely got one in my house and I've either got one or two in the bank. So if that's number four in this much, Casey, that's, uh, yeah, that's a strange bit of luck there. I didn't even realize at first that I got another pet, but I think that's my second one in under 3000 Casey. That is pretty ridiculous. My Kraken luck is really good. Also picked up an Elite Clue from Kraken. What can we get? Magic Seed, Sarah Page. 80 Elites done, 390k, not too bad. Coming in with 87 Rune Crafting, so three left to go until I hit the goal of 90. And then obviously need Agility to 90 as well to hit all base 90 stats. Um, as you can see, I'm actually doing my Rune Crafting with a Rune Pickaxe. I'm not actually sure that the crystal pickaxe is going to have any effect here and I don't want to use up the charges and obviously I don't have a second dragon pickaxe. Uh, I'm not too sure that the level of pickaxe you use actually affects the speed, I think it's more based on mining level. Um, so hopefully, well I haven't noticed it slowing me down so I think it's fine to be using this for the time being. So to round off the video I'm actually going to head over to Bandos God Wars and try out the maging method which isn't something that I've done before but I'm quite curious to see if it's viable with my gear. This is the gear setup that I'm going to be going in with. The inventory is subject to change because I'll have to see how I get on with the methods and the ratio of food to restores might need to be adjusted. But in terms of my gear there's definitely some room for improvement in terms of upgrades. I think most notably would be Ancestral if I had it but I don't. Um, otherwise the other thing that I might think about trying to upgrade is the Book of Darkness to a Mage's book but I think that's around a 12 hour grind at a Mage Training Arena so I'm just going to see how I get on with the method first before going for that. Um, I'm really excited about trying this, I've not done an awful lot of Bandos kills and I've only tried the melee method before anyway so this might end up being how I go for all of my items, we shall see. I do not deserve that. Banzos chest play on 30 KC and to be perfectly honest that is exactly what I wanted. I need that for solo raids and to be perfectly honest I think I can go and start learning solo raids now. The only other upgrade that I think I could possibly get would be the Armadil bottoms and probably not that necessary. <laughs> wow. Um, the trips have been going terribly as well. This is like my third trip. I've died on each of the previous ones, so it's not been smooth sailing by any means. All right, so I finished that trip. I thought I'd give a rundown of what just happened because that last clip was a bit of a mess. So my first trip, trying the mage method, I got one kill. A uh, guy crashed me. I tried to hop worlds uh, to a, an empty world and died, so that was a bit of a failure. Second trip, again, got one kill and then... Grado bopped me on the head for a 40 I think and I died and then my third trip which is the one you've just seen 
first kill, Bandos chest plate, and then I ended up getting four kills this time before dying again, so definitely room for improvement, but I am enjoying the method and I think I'm gonna try to perfect it because if I get good at it, it's gonna be a good way to get multiple kills per trip. But as I mentioned, now that I've got the Bandos chest plate, I really do think that solo raids are open for me. It's just that one upgrade, the Armadil chain skirt that might be one that I wanna go for, but it's definitely not stopping me from starting, not that the Bandos chestplate was either, I think I just wanted to um, get that before I tried it out. And yeah, just incredibly lucky. And it's nice actually to have a bit of um, God Wars luck after going so dry at Zami for the hilt. Um, I said in the last clip that's undeserved. I do feel actually that's um, a bit of retribution for going so dry at Zami. And on that bombshell, that is going to be the end of the episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed watching. I couldn't really think of a better way to end the episode than uh, getting that Bandos chestplate drop anyway, to be perfectly honest. Next episode, I'm certainly going to try my hand at solo raids. I think it's going to be a bit of a learning curve, but should be fun nonetheless. And probably we'll do a bit of skilling and get a level or two in agility and runecrafting. If you did enjoy the episode, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to come back for the next episode, uh, feel free to subscribe as well. Thank you again for watching and until next time, take care.